Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pagey here once again with another video on The Flash Season 3. So just for this video, I just want you guys to think, you know what, Flashpoint's only going to be for the first five, maybe six episodes, maybe even less. So just keep that in mind while we're going through this video. So a lot of you may be thinking to yourselves, are we really going to have another speedster as The Flash's big bad in Season 3? Don't worry, I'm on the same boat. Sure, it is awesome seeing speedsters battle it out while in super speed, but at some points it gets to the stage where things can get a bit repetitive. But do not worry friends, in today's video I will be going over a villain that will not only have some aspects of villains from previous seasons, but also offer something that we have yet to see. This villain is Cobalt Blue. But who is Cobalt Blue? Well, in the comics, Cobalt Blue is actually Barry Allen's twin brother, yes, that's right, twin brother known as Malcolm Thorne. The interesting thing about this brotherly relationship is that it, well, is non-existent. What happened is that on the night that Nora Allen gave birth to Barry and his twin brother, another family, the Thorne family, was expecting their child as well. Unfortunately, what happened is that the real Thorne baby was stillborn. So what the doctors did was give the Thorn family Barry's twin and then said that Barry's twin was the one that was stillborn. Now Malcolm had a really really tough upbringing but eventually found out about his real family, the Allens, and how good a life Barry actually had. Now due to this Malcolm wanted revenge on Barry and actually ended up finding out that Barry was the fastest man alive the Flash. Now what Malcolm did was create a magical talisman of sorts that allowed him to steal anything that he desired from people. In regards to Barry, it was obviously his speed. Unfortunately for Malcolm, between him finding out about Barry and creating this magical talisman, Barry decided to, you know, sacrifice his own life, saving the universe in the Crisis on Infinite Earths storyline. So instead he decided, you know what, I'll just hurt people that, you know, are really close to Barry. So he actually took Wally West, the new Flash's speed instead. But when will we meet Malcolm? Well, it's actually good news because we already have in the form of Eddie from season one. Yeah, that's right, Eddie Thorne. Now, if they were to do Cobalt Blue on the show, Eddie wouldn't be Barry's long lost twin or anything like that. That would be way too hard to like backtrack and explain throughout the season. What this Eddie Thorne Cobalt Blue will be upset for is most likely Barry's life in regards to Iris, obviously Eddie's past relationship with Iris, as well as family and friends of Barry, you know, just jealous of what Barry's got. In the season one finale, when Eddie actually shoots himself and gets sucked into the singularity black hole thing, we distinctly see a talisman around his neck. Now the showrunners have purposely put this out there in the open for future reference. So say in season three, could have in season four, but in this case in season three, he comes back, he talks about this talisman. They go back to season one when he's getting sucked into the, into the singularity. We see that talisman and there need to be, you know, it needs to be some continuity there. So we can actually go back, watch the season one finale and have a look and oh my God, it's there. So what we can take from this is that possibly the singularity may have brought Eddie back to life and done something, you know, fantastical with that talisman that was around his neck. He may also have suffered some memory loss, you know, because he was sort of dead and then came back to life. And he may not remember being on good terms with Barry. And you know, that will be what ignites his revengeful plan against Barry. Also, this could mix in a plot line where Eddie may take Barry's speed and Wally West, hopefully if he has his speeds to powers by then, will have to take upon himself some responsibility in protecting Central City from whatever may be threatening it. I really like the actor who plays Eddie as well and would be awesome to see him back, especially in a villainous role like we've seen Kaylin, Cisco in these villainous roles. It'd be really cool if we saw Eddie in one as well. Now there is one thing that might go against this actually happening and that is remember when Barry went back in time to talk to the earbud Thorn Harrison Wells and he gets that you know goodbye message from Eddie to give to Iris. Now there is one way of looking at this as a closure message just for Iris, but in some ways it could be a closure message for every audience member in regards to Eddie. Like this is the cutoff point for Eddie, we finally got to say goodbye to Eddie. 
But hopefully this is not the case because it does seem that they have been sort of setting up this cobalt blue thing with that talisman. They, as I said before, it was distinctly out there. So they really wanted us to, you know, catch that and they would use it as future reference. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Would you like to see Cobalt Blue appear as a villain in the Flash Season 3 or just a future Flash season in general? Do you think he could be really powerful and possibly be the hardest villain that Barry's had to face? Leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you are new, I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.